to you. I'm Pasara Rose and welcome once again to Jesus Our Healer. Today, we want to encourage you by sharing to you some of the promises of God regarding healing. To start with, let's read Psalm 107 verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. In Psalm 31 verse 19, Oh, how abundant is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you and work for those who take refuge in you, in the sight of the children of mankind. In Nahum 1 verse 7, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in Him. And in Psalm 84 verse 11, For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold for those who walk uprightly. Right now, we want to pray for our children. We've heard recently that even children are getting COVID-19. We should not be afraid. We should just put our trust in the Lord because we believe that God can heal our children. Join me right now in praying for our young people's healing and restoration. Let's pray. Lord, we commit to you, our beloved young people. We are just thankful and grateful, God, that you love them more than we love them. And you died for them as well so that they can receive salvation and healing. God, right now, there is unrest in some of the hearts of the parents as they are seeing their children getting sick of COVID-19. Father, we ask in Jesus' name, Bless those children, O oh God, with healing in their bodies. We pray that healing will flow from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. God, we ask for our young people, bless them with strong immune system in Jesus' name, that their bodies will not be sick, O oh God, but instead their bodies will be strong and healthy. Lord, we even pray, God, that just like what you said in Psalm 91, that this deadly pestilence will not come near our young people, our children, oh God, because Lord, you will keep them safe, oh God. They are protected because they are under your wings. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing our young people with healing from you. And we also pray, God, that you will restore them in their soul. Some of them, God, as young as they are, are experiencing anxiety in their hearts. Father, we pray, let them find joy in your presence. Let them find hope in your word. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. At this time, I want to encourage you to open up your hearts in worship as we sing this beautiful song, Times of Refreshing.
Amen. Indeed, it is so refreshing when we are in the presence of the Lord. Let's continue to read James 1.17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In Psalm 145 verse 9, The Lord is good to all and His mercy is over all that He has made. John 10 verse 10, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Right now, we want to pray for healing to flow from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. And we believe that whatever sickness that you have, Jesus is our healer and he can heal you right now, even at this very moment. Join me in prayer. Lord, we come to your presence and we thank you so much, oh God, that your word is true that you are faithful and true to your promises. And when you said, God, that by your wounds we are healed, we believe that we will be healed. Father, we pray for fever to leave the bodies of your people in Jesus' name. Heal your people from high blood pressure, from diabetes. Heal your people, O oh God, for those of them with pneumonia, with asthma, those with primary complex, those with tuberculosis, we thank you that you are healing them. Those people who are having a hard time to breathe, oh God, thank you for healing. Thank you for a normal oxygen level. Those people, oh God, are experiencing sore throat, colds, flu. We thank you, Lord, that by your wounds they are healed in Jesus' name. Sinusitis, oh God, is going away. Allergies, acid reflux are leaving the bodies of your people. Healing from back pain, we thank you, Jesus. Healing from headache, oh God. Healing from arthritis, oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you're healing people from carpal tunnel, from scoliosis, oh God. Thank you, Lord, that nothing is impossible to you, that even brain tumor is leaving the bodies of your people. Lord, even those people who are bedridden, we thank you, Lord, that life is flowing in their bodies. Those people who had stroke, those people, oh God, with all the symptoms of COVID-19, we thank you so much that you are healing them. God, we believe nothing is impossible to you. And just like what is said in your word, if we ask anything according to your name, we know that you hear us. And when you hear us, we will receive whatever we ask for in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your answer to our prayers, God, in Jesus' name. Our yes and amen. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. At this time, I want to encourage you to sing in the Spirit. And as we sing in the Spirit, continue to believe God for healing.
Amen. We believe that even now, God is touching you and healing you completely. Thank you for joining us today in prayer and in worship. We hope that tomorrow, same time, 7.30 a.m., you're going to join us once again. God bless you and your family, and may you have a great day. Jesus, our healer.